guys situated here. Hey guys, what's up? I'm gonna be talking to you all while I'm eating my bagel. I'm also one of those people that like, actually, I don't know why I'm saying I'm one of those people because I think I'm the only person who does this. I put cream cheese on like a third of my bagel and then I eat that third of the bagel and then I put cream cheese on the next third or so of the bagel and then eat that third or so of the bagel. That feels illegal, I feel like a criminal. But honestly, that's what I do. Today though, I'm gonna be going to Target and bringing you guys along with me. I have a few things on my shopping list that I need to get. And then also I'm just gonna see what Target has in store for me today. Okay, I'm gonna eat my bagel the way I like cause I will not change for anybody. And you shouldn't either. And then we'll get going to Target. See you soon. Okay, just got to Target. I got the best parking spot. I got a pull through spot right near the front of the store. We'll see how my incognito vlogging goes though. It is 8.15, so hopefully a lot of people won't be here. Target opened 15 minutes ago. There might be a lot of workers though. I've noticed that when I've come early, a lot of workers are like walking around and restocking items. Anyways, got my mask and we're ready to go. Okay, let's go. Target has really stepped up their clothing game. I am really impressed. Do I need this basket? No. Is it on clearance? Yes. It's half off. It's $10 now. It used to be 20. I want it. I don't need it, but I really want it. I want to try these. They only have the shade though. I just really like the concept of this. I want this just for the Marvel packaging. <laughs> That is so cute. Oh my god, there's cacti and cats. Cacti and cats. All right, I have a basket full of goodies. I think I spent a little more than I actually wanted to. It's okay though, Target shopping is a form of self-love. That's what I have to keep telling myself. Maybe I shouldn't tell myself that. Maybe I would spend less money that way. There it is. All the stuff I did not need. All the stuff I wanted though. What am I listening to? Literally, what am I listening to? I don't know. <laughs> Sarah's being productive today. She just ran a couple more errands that she needed to run, and now I'm heading home, and then we can do our Target haul. If you thought we'd do this Target haul without drinking a coffee first, you'd be wrong. I'm also filming this in our family room, by the way, just because I wanted to switch up the background a little bit. You know what they say, variety is the spice of life. I have everything right here. Let's address the elephant in the room, though. The basket. Yes, I did get the basket. You're like, Sarah, you don't have anything to do with that. And that is very true. I don't have anything to use it for, but I always seem to need a basket of some kind. So I'll probably use this in my room somewhere for something. I love the aesthetic of it. It's just like this natural material. It'll go with my bohemian aesthetic that I'm trying to achieve in my room. So you could use this for like blankets, pillows, those stuffed animals that you have from your childhood and you have nowhere to place so they're just hiding in between your bed and the wall. You know, this would be perfect for them. This by the way, it was half off so instead of $20 it was $10. Guys, I want to show you what I'm using my basket for currently. Okay, ready? I'm using it to keep boxes in. Great purchase. The next thing I got was this other little basket. You can get these in the little Target dollar section. I think they call it like Bullseye's Playground. <laughs> this was $5. I do have one of these and then two of the smaller ones like this, which I got like last week. Okay, I know I go to Target a lot, guys, but I needed another one of these. This is for like a shelf that I most recently put up in my room. Should we do clothes first or random stuff? I'm thinking let's do clothes first. I'll make this a try on haul so you guys can see what everything looks like on. The first thing I got were these shorts. I tried on the size above the size in the dressing room, but they were too big. So I hope these work. We'll see. 
fingers crossed. I really did kind of need more summer clothes, so that's what kind of why I got some of the stuff. I especially needed more shorts. I really like though how there's this little like loop on the side of these jean shorts. These are just like overall just like really cute and they're by the brand Wild Fable. I said this in store but Target has really been stepping up their apparel game because a lot of the items are like really cute and there was a lot of cute dresses which I should have tried on. I resisted though because I know that I don't need any dresses. Like when am I gonna wear them? What type of formal event am I gonna wear them to? I literally had nothing to wear them for so I didn't need them. I'm very proud of myself. They were a really good price though. I think they were like $15. A $15 cute reasonable quality dress that is literally wild next I got this t-shirt this is just like a really simple t-shirt crop top I first tried this on in the dressing room in a gray color but when I went back to the clothing section I saw this brown one and I love wearing like neutral colored clothing so I swapped that out for this one and this was only five dollars next I got this cute top this is like a sweater crop tank top super summery and it is this off-white color it is made out of a like sweater material but the material isn't like thick so you're not gonna get like hot itchy sweaty and this was $15 and then I also got this top which kind of reminds me of this top that I'm wearing this one is actually cropped a little bit and it's pre-tied I had to tie this one myself. <laughs> I saw this last weekend too. I couldn't stop thinking about it. So when I saw it today, I kind of grabbed it. I think everything I got is by Wild Fable, but this was $10. I don't know if you're supposed to not take the hangers from Target. I need hangers though for my closet. I'm stealing hangers from like our coat closet because I ran out of hangers in my room. I just needed hangers, okay? I don't think Target will mind that much. All right, so that's all the clothing I got. Though I did get something else that is like an apparel item, but I'm gonna save that for last. All right, time for the random stuff I got. Hi. I don't know what that meant. So my mom asked me to pick her up a few things while I was at Target. So I got this carpet freshener by Arm & Hammer. Then she also asked me to pick her up another dry shampoo. So I got the Not Your Mother's Queen Freak dry shampoo. I think this is what she had before, so I just got her the same kind. I personally like the Dove dry shampoo. That's what I use. And then for myself, I needed to get a new face cleanser. So I got the La Roche Posay Hydrating Gentle Cleanser. I literally just ran out last night out of my face cleanser. And I was using a different face cleanser than the one I usually use for a while because I left the one that I usually use on this floor and my room's up there and the bathroom that I use is on the floor above this floor. So at night when I was washing my face, I was too lazy to walk down the stairs and get my normal cleanser. So I was using another cleanser that was full of fragrance and probably other stuff and it was breaking me out. I did though the other day make the long trek downstairs to, <laughs> to get my face cleanser that I usually use, but now I'm out of it. <laughs> okay, that was a long story that probably didn't make sense. But I've heard great things about this cleanser. La Roche-Posay, they are like the fancy drugstore skincare brand. Maybe it's just the brand name that makes it feel fancy to me. It is Francais. <laughs> and then I also got some more razor heads. I use the Flamingo brand. This is like the aesthetic razor brand at Target. I first started using their razors because the packaging was very aesthetically pleasing packaging and marketing is everything, kids. Anyways, the razors work fine, but I needed some new heads. And then the last thing I got, which was my most expensive item, yeah. Not gonna lie, this was a little bit of an Im impulse purchase. I got this really cute purse. Let's take this gray stuff off of it. So we, oh no, there's a crinkle, so we can see it. How cute is this though? This is also very bohemian. It has these little tassels on the side, and I just loved the floral design of it. Let's open it up. Here it is on the inside. I mean, it's like a basic bag. I think this will be really, I have a few vacation trips planned soon. Fully vaccinated, by the way, just to let y'all know. But I think this bag will be really great for like those kind of trips. It's a perfect size, basically. You can fit a book, something, I don't know. Like, look at this, guys. Your cleanser fits in it. And your dry shampoo, what more? Do you need? Oh, and then there's also this little pocket on the back. I just love this. I thought it was so cute. And this was $30 by the way, and this is by the brand Universal Thread. I would say we had a pretty successful Target run today. Got some things we needed, got some things we didn't need, practiced self-love. Yeah, it was a good Target run. We love that. Okay, but I think that is gonna be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog haul video. If you did, make sure to give me a thumbs up. It really does help me and my channel out a lot. Hope you guys are having a great day. Make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.